the bhagavad gita the bhagavad gita is a sacred hindu scripture composed of 700 verses it is a conversation between lord krishna and the warrior arjuna on the battlefield of kurukshetra the gita explores various philosophical concepts including the four yogas so, the bhagavad gita the main parts of yoga described are karma yoga the yoga of action jnana yoga the yoga of knowledge bhakti yoga the yoga of devotion dhyana yoga the yoga of meditation also referred as raja yoga karma yoga the yoga of action the karma the karma yoga emphasizes selfless action and performing duties without attachment to the results it teaches individuals and act with de dedication and sincerity and a sense of service key principles perform actions without desire for uh, for rewards rena rena renounce self selfish uh, motives and offer the fruits of actions to a higher power jnana yoga the yoga of knowledge jnana yoga druti druti let let me now let it keep it open for children who may not understand it right so okay. druti has said till now bhagavad gita is a discussion or uh, teaching from krishna to arjuna okay that we understood we know all that now karma yoga this is very difficult for any kid she is telling that perform action without any desires or reward is it possible for you children is it possible for you to go to exams and do not uh, see any results of that exams yes sir we can see we should see who is that druti will say sir we should see our results ha huh. but no rewards from the parents right if i if you get first in the maths you should not ask for any rewards that's what it says yes sir good you will you will practice that yes sir okay druti is practicing what about athar what about uh, jia madhav okay so it's difficult but what i suggest is first perform the action as a student what is the karma yoga for you children what is the action you have to perform as a student i am asking as a child as a student turn to study yes read or write very good jia is also raised the hand jia turn to study best with mark but not expect anything from our parents in return okay parents anyway will love you because of parents only you are able to go to school who is that ipad raised hand now i don't know what is the name ipad is raised purvik hand. purvik purvik why did you change your name again i it's difficult for me to sir it's automatic sir automatic okay i will change it again okay purvik go sir, ahead sir we should uh, we should listen to our parents what they tell good things to us okay and we should not expect any rewards right that's what is she is trying to tell us so karma yes. yoga we understood let us try to implement also children what is happening if we go on doing the classes so many classes you already are going to from morning till evening thursday it's a school day i am very sure you all went to the school you had your classes this class should be a different class this class is interaction that's why i want your names your video to be on so i should interact with you then only i will know whether you are really doing or following this class that is my intention now after karma yoga let us see what she is telling about jnana yoga and we'll stop Hi, for few minutes yes jnana yoga oh. the yoga of knowledge jnana yoga focuses on acquiring knowledge and understanding the true nature of one self and the universe it involves contemplation self inquiry and meditation on profound philosophical concept key principle discriminate between the internal and the temporary 
temporarily understand the usually illusory nature of the world and world and seek uh, seek self -re realization okay druti can you tell what is self realization just try just try so, tell the children so, uh, self realization means we should realize ourselves uh, what we are doing wrong or correct very good so uh, no one, your parents should not tell you are doing right or wrong okay for example if mother says don't eat too much sugar okay mother is gone for some work you will go into the kitchen and eat the sugar is it self realization mother said you are eating too much sugar your teeth are getting dirty it's not getting good so you when mother is there you are not eating sugar but when mother is gone you go to the sugar or candy and you eat when mother is not there is it self realization no sir then what is it sir uh, it is like uh, we are uh, uh, taking it uh, without asking their permission okay so self realization is you should not uh, cheat yourself for children it is very difficult to understand what is self realization first thing is you can cheat everyone but not yourself okay don't cheat yourself if you are studying and if you are not studying you are just keeping the books like this open yeah. and let let me complete let me complete you are keeping yeah. the books open and you are not even reading it and when mother says are you reading yeah yeah mother i am reading that is not self realization that is cheating sir yes narain sir eating sir okay so what is jnana yoga for you is understand that knowledge or that consciousness awareness you know uh, sometimes we make mistake and we know we have done the mistake we are aware but we will try to justify that i did correct it happens with all of us it happens so be aware at, at least this much knowledge you have that is jnana yoga for you in this age okay are you are you with me yeah. sir you told us sir that example yes. if mother is asking if you didn't read or not if we didn't read for the exam we will only get cheat for ourselves correct so that is what is the a uh, wrong benefit or uh, whenever an action is done there is a reaction to it if you do good action you will get good reaction good marks so jnanam here for you children is not realizing that god or something within you first you are a student you are a children first realize that awareness within you whatever i am doing am i doing with awareness am i reading with awareness am i playing with awareness play 100% you all will do with awareness i am i am sure vishnu is there yeah. Vishnu yeah. is there, Raghav is there. Raghav will be playing full concentration and uh, watching TV with full concentration. But what about studies? Are we also doing studies with full concentration? That self realization, no need of asking, no need of parents always scolding us, is self realization or knowledge for you? Got it, all yeah. of you? Tanush. Another ex. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Another example, yes, if I may say. Yes, sir. Uh, children, uh, all of you children go to school, and you you do everything in the school with a very pure mind. For example, you write exam after very good studies. Do your best, and don't expect. um in case if you let us say get one or two mark less you should not get upset you need to come back and work very hard and do your best that is number one second let us say your friends have got better marks than you again you should not feel jealous about it you should feel happy about it that is another idea right and third you need to be very faithful to your teachers also in terms of obeying in terms of listening properly in terms of doing your homework properly without lying without cheating you do everything with 
immense amount of purity. That is another meaning of Jnana Yoga for you. Yeah? Dhruti has a question. Dhruti, you raised your hand. Sir, uh, if we will tell, we don't know, but we will tell, we will know that. In exam, we will write nothing, sir, for that. Correct. So, don't cheat yourself. That self is sit sitting somewhere in your heart, mind, wherever he is sitting. He or she. Okay? He or she is seeing what you do. That is self-realization. Okay. With this, we go to the next one, Dhruti. Bhakti Yoga. The Yoga of Devotion. Bhakti Yoga emphasizes devotion and love for a personal de deity or a de divine. It involves expressing love, surrender and devotion through prayers, rituals and chattings. Key principles. Cultivate deep love and devotion for the divine. Surrender the ego and seek union with the God through heart, heartfelt devotion. I think this is very easy, isn't it? Uh, Raghav Varshni, can you tell about, did you understand what is Bhakti Yoga? Do you practice it, Raghav Varshni? Yes. You just tell to the kids, how do you practice? Because this is important to tell others also. So, um, so like uh, I every day uh, before going to the school I do one or two rounds of chanting and then after coming at the evening I also do that and in everything I think I try to think in everything that I am doing this for uh, God or very good that is the best way in everything you think you are doing for God with devotion what about Nayana? Can you tell us Bhakti Yoga? Did you understand? Dhruti, you have understood. Keep your hand down. You have understood it. Now we will ask some other people. Nayana, will you be able to explain to the children? Yes, sir. Can you tell how you perform Bhakti? What is devotion to God for you? Say one minute. In that one minute, anyone else want to say? Sir, can I? Yeah, go ahead. Sir, uh, I, um, I will do Sanjaya Vandanam every day with, with my devotion, with my bhakti, so that I get concentration. Yes. So, that's why in our Hindu culture, we have so many different gods. Some children like Hanuman, some children like Ganesha, some children will like Lakshmi. So, you have all the choices. You have first Ishta Devata, one god where you devote yourself, you always do prayers to him or her. Slowly you will understand that God is in everything and everyone. So you, you see everything similarly. And your devotion to every being or non-being living will be equal. Uh, Nayana, are you ready? Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, for me, the performance of bhakti is my duty in class, sir. Sir, uh, Every uh, to every boy and girl in my class get a chance to become class monitor, sir. Mm. And uh, this time I got the chance for one be uh, for one month, sir. Mm. And my duty is that my class doesn't get a bad name because uh, they're just shouting and all, sir. I, I try my best to like keep the class quiet, sir. I just want how, to follow my... Duty. How does this turn into bhakti? Sir, because when, I, uh, when I'm when i telling anybody, they won't listen to me, sir. But when I ask, ask, ask them very politely, sir, I try seeing the God inside them. Oh. And I ask that God very politely saying that, can you please stay quiet? Okay. That's what a brilliant answer. What a brilliant answer. And that God will say yes and sit quietly, sir. Very nice. Good. So, this is Naina's way. But if you can't see like that, children, start with devoting yourself, rituals or practice to one God first. Yeah, Swastik is having something to say. Swastik? Sir, for me, I feel like Bhakti is just something that you do with focus. Like, focus is the form of Bhakti. 
Like if you have focus in something, it will show that you have bhakti towards it. But like that, sir, is, I, that is coming I, next. Your things is coming next. That one more thing she is having to say. What you said, yes, focus sir. that is there. Can I go to that then? Come, can we go there? Yes, sir. Dhruti, go ahead. Dhyana Yoga, the yoga of meditation. Dhyana Yoga is the path of meditation and concentration. It involves calming the mind, focusing inward, and experiencing, experiencing the trans transcendental state. Key principle. Practice medita meditation regularly attain attain a one pointed mind and merge with the universal and universal consciousness. consciousness now can you see the screen by the way all of you yes can sir the screen yes, sir. Yeah. yeah now first let us give chance to swastik he was telling about focused mind so this this is what you are uh, understanding swastik by dhyana yoga okay Yes, sir. Like Dhyana Yoga is something that you do with utmost focus and concentration. Correct. So this is what means by Dhyana Yoga. So we saw four yogas in Bhagavad Gita. Karma Yoga, do your duties as a student to study without expecting any rewards from anyone. Second is uh, Jnana Yoga. For you, Jnanam or self-awareness is itself Jnanam. As a child, you are aware that I am doing this I am studying, I am not cheating anyone. When I am studying, I am studying, I am not saying lies. This is itself awareness and uh, self-realization. Third, we saw uh, uh, Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti you all understand. But Nayana gave a very ex beautiful example. She started seeing even God in those who are shouting. That is very difficult to achieve at this level. But okay, Nayana has understood. You try to see God first in the idols which you have at home, then start seeing God in the animals, the beautiful world around you, and then you will start seeing God even in the not so beautiful or not so good or not uh, listing people like she's saying in the class, shouting children also, she sees God. Then lastly, meditation, Dhyana Yoga. And that's where today we are. Uh, you want to continue, right? Integration of the four yogas. Go ahead. The four yogas are not mutually exclusive but can be practiced together. Each yoga complements and strengthens the other, leading to holistic scriptural, spiritual. spiritual development. By integrating the four yogas, four yogas, Individuals can achieve self self realization and union with the divine. The four yogas of the Bhagavad Gita is Bhagavad Gita provide different paths different paths of individuals to attain spiritual growth and realization. Whether through selfless action, knowledge, de de devotion or meditation, each yoga offers a, a, a unique, 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 unique approach to connect with the divine. The, the teachings of the Gita Encourage seekers to find their own path and strive to, to self-realization. 